Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl Tanya Lady T, and uh, we still jamming in July, y'all. But um, let me just just do a quick recap and update on that. <clears throat> All is well. Um, for 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 those of y'all who are following me, I mean, um, honestly, I have not been hungry. I do crave some things, but I really have not been hungry, and I can tell my body's, my furnace, my metabolism is continually burning, and I know a lot of people think that if you don't eat, you will lose weight. Now, if you starve yourself, there's a difference between not eating and starving yourself. If you starve yourself, uh, yeah, you're going to lose weight because your body's going to eat up off of itself, but not eating is not going to cause you to lose weight. Trust and believe. I'm, I've been through all of it. I've done every type of diet you can think of. And portion control is the only thing that has worked for me. And like I said, once you understand your body, once you sit down and talk with your doctor and your nutritionist and understand how food works in your body and the combinations of food and how they work in your body, uh, you'll lose the weight. But anyway, um, so all is well. I'm excited. I'm at seven pounds. I'm not going to weigh in again until Wednesday now. Of course, I shouldn't have been weighing in along, you know, along the way. I, I, I weighed in on, on Wednesday, and I've got that weight jotted down. And then when I weigh in again, this coming up Wednesday, which is the July 12th, I'll record that way. And that'll just be my own personal private little diary so I can see the manifestation because when I go to my doctor if they will allow me to film I will you know ask them to you know advise what I weighed the last time I came in and ask them to give a date and then when I weigh in so I'll have that official weight for my doctor's office so anyway um, enough of that because y'all already know what to do you know what we're gonna do um, but look, I came on real quick. Can y'all see me? This light is very blaring. I'm just getting off work, y'all. Tired. Um, but no, I wanted to talk to y'all about something. And I don't know who this is for, but I just feel the need. I need to say this. Uh, mind how you talk about other folks' business. And I'm being serious because, <laughs> I mean, you know, when I say my, how you talk about other people's business, okay, I'm just going to be honest. We all do it. A lot of times I discuss that kind of stuff with my family, whether it be my mom or I'll discuss, you know, stuff like that with Mr. Silverbox, Silver Fox. But I'm going to tell you, you better mind how you, how you talk about other people's business, honey, and then they get back to them. Honey, it, it can be an ugly thing. Whether it's true, whether it's, you know, uh, whatever. But if it's a, if, if it sheds that person in the ugly light, let me tell you, be careful and mind how you talk about other people's business. Because I'm going to tell you, um, unfortunately, I was uh, privy to uh, the consequences. Not me personally, but the person brought it to my attention. And uh, it won't pretty. And sometimes, you know, people try to bring you stuff, bring you bones about other people's business and stuff. You know what I tell people? I say, look, live and let live. Let people do what they can live with. I don't have anything to add to it because it ain't going to be that you're going to come back around the corner and say, oh, Tanya said, mm -mm, nope, 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 nope. I've learned maturity will grow you up real quick. Experience. Uh, is a great teacher and it will uh, remind you and grow you up real quick about uh, how, mind how you handle other people's business. I'm serious. I am very serious because at this point, this person got busted so bad talking about somebody else's business and when they got confronted with it, they were standing there clutching their pearls. They were standing there asking for uh, drinks of water. They were standing there asking for a cover or a shade tree. And ain't nothing you can do for people like that. And y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all know who, who, who what, I, what type of people I'm talking about that you are acquainted with and know. They sitting up here running their mouth. Blah, 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 bl
and then you hear through the grapevine <laughs> oh yeah so and so was saying something about so and so and she walked up and busted her or found out about it and let me tell you something at that point when that person finished reading you and and and, and turned the cover and, and and the pages on you and and and, and read you for feel and then you standing around looking around like somebody was supposed to help bail you out of that. No, no, no. You're going to stand alone. We're going to allow what you did or said about that individual. We're going to allow you to deal with that and let it deal with you. Don't try to look for me to comfort you. Don't look for me to try to bail you out. Don't look for me to try to say, oh, well, you, you, should, you shouldn't have been that harsh on you, on her. Uh-uh. No, no. Because, like I said, it's one thing. If you discuss something within the privacy of your own home and you just trying to get an understanding of something with your, whether it be your significant other, your close companion, your confidant, your mama, your daddy, your sister, brother, uh, guess what? And then there's another thing you can do if you don't ever want nobody to know nothing about what you said about them, keep your mouth shut. Close your mouth. That's the best way. That's the best way. But you know, like I said, we all... Uh, can get caught up sometimes discussing people's business, but you better know who you're saying it to because the very people that you think you can say it to are the ones who are running around the mill. And by the time you don't put egg, sugar, nutmeg, vanilla extract, flour, uh, 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 cinnamon, and put it in the oven, now you made the ingredients for that, but when it come out, of the oven it's done turned into brownies because somebody else done added and twisted and perturbed it so anyway like i said i'm sure all of us are who are grown but i'm just saying i don't care how juicy as we say nowadays i don't care how juicy the tea is i don't care how how good the cake is smelling and you want to just tell it a lot of times the best thing you can do is just be silent keep your mouth closed don't say nothing because really honestly if you think about it does it really have anything to do with me is it really going to come back around a corner and affect me in any way and really if it's not just it's one of those things where i get it listen the position i am in at work and just the position i am period i get a lot of information from people i people tell me a whole lot of stuff but i have but i have learned how to just say mm well and keep on moving you have got to be mature enough to say you know what now if i reveal this or i talk about this or i tell people about x y and z this information that i just received you know what does it what does it benefit me am i going if i talk about it to to the wrong person i'm really just being messy it's so juicy that i want to make sure that person hears it just so I can see what their action gonna be now that ain't right that ain't about nothing either but there's a lot of people they like to carry information just to see what that other person's reaction is going to be so we really don't need to operate in like that so anyway like I said I just wanted to put that out there because like I said this person got got her hand had got her butt handed to her on a platter for, 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 for running her mouth about somebody else's business and honey they gave her the business Yes, they did. But anyway, I'm finna run into Miss K into Kato's Miss Yvette. I'm about to run into our star girl. I just wanna see what they got. Just wanna see what they got up in here. I ain't gonna vlog in here because I'm I'm kinda deep. I wanna look. And uh so unless I see something extra, extra cute, I might vlog. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to get off the this uh I was getting ready to say flavor train, but this is not this is not Lady T Sensation Channel. But uh, I'm about to get off this uh, train, this all aboard train, and uh, go in here to Miss Cato's and see what she's talking about today. But anyway, love y'all. God bless. And may the peace of the Lord be with you. Bye.